Car 1, Denza Z9 GT. Denza Z9 GT came out in 2024, and this is where the idea of unbreakable completely changes direction. The Denza Z9 GT isn't built like a traditional off-road tank. Instead, its strength comes from extreme engineering precision and redundancy. This car is developed under BYD's high-end Denza brand, and it's designed to survive long-term stress, not just rough roads. The Z9 GT uses a multi-motor electric drivetrain, meaning power is distributed intelligently rather than mechanically forced through a single system. If one motor reduces output due to heat or traction loss, the others instantly compensate. This doesn't just improve performance, it reduces strain on individual components, which dramatically improves durability over time. Another thing that makes it feel unbreakable is the platform itself. The chassis uses ultra-high strength steel combined with aluminum sections, which keeps it rigid without making it fragile. So instead of flexing and weakening over years of use, the structure maintains its integrity. This is especially important for EVs because battery protection depends heavily on chassis strength. Now let's talk about real life. The Z9 GT is built for people who drive fast, drive daily, and drive long distances. There's no engine vibration, no gearbox shock, and no traditional drivetrain wear. That means fewer mechanical parts constantly grinding against each other. Over time, that's one of the biggest reasons EVs like this last longer than people expect. But of course, it's not perfect. It's heavy, and it's not meant for hardcore off-roading. You won't take it rock crawling or through deep mud. However, durability isn't always about surviving one extreme event. Sometimes it's about surviving 10 years of daily stress without falling apart. And that's where the Denza Z9 GT earns its place at the top of this list. Car 2, BYD Yangwang U8. BYD Yangwang U8 arrived in 2023, and this one completely changed the definition of unbreakable. The Yangwang U8 isn't just tough mechanically, it's tough intelligently. It uses BYD's quad motor electric system, meaning each wheel has its own motor. If one motor fails or loses traction, the other three instantly compensate. This gives it insane redundancy, which is a big reason why it feels so resilient. The most shocking part is that it can literally float on water for short periods. That's not marketing talk. The body is sealed, the electronics are waterproofed, and the motors can keep rotating even if water resistance increases. This is something even luxury brands haven't dared to try. Now, yes, it's heavy, very heavy, and it's expensive compared to most Chinese cars, but the trade-off is reliability through technology. There's no traditional engine, no gearbox, and far fewer moving parts that can fail over time. So while it may look futuristic, its durability comes from simplicity hidden inside complexity. Car 3, BAIC BJ40. BAIC BJ40 came out as China's answer to the Jeep Wrangler, and honestly, it stayed true to that mission. The BJ40 uses a ladder frame chassis, solid axles, and removable roof panels. This isn't a lifestyle car pretending to be tough, it's built for abuse. It usually comes with a 2.0-liter turbo petrol or diesel engine depending on the market, and what makes it reliable is how understressed the engine is. It's not tuned aggressively, which means less heat, less pressure, and longer engine life. This is exactly why you see BJ40s being used by military and rescue units in remote areas. But there's a catch. The interior feels basic, and the ride on paved roads is stiff. Long highway trips aren't its strength. However, when things break down far away from cities, this is the type of car that keeps going even with minimal maintenance. Car 4, Cherry Tigo 8 Pro. Tigo 8 Pro might surprise you because it doesn't look like an unbreakable vehicle at first glance, but durability isn't always about crawling rocks. Sometimes it's about surviving years of daily abuse. The Tigo 8 Pro has proven to be extremely reliable in markets with poor road conditions, bad fuel quality, and extreme temperatures. It uses a reinforced monocoque chassis with high-strength steel and stress zones. The suspension is tuned soft but durable, meaning it absorbs potholes instead of fighting them. Over time, this actually reduces wear on components like bushings, control arms, and joints. The engines are simple turbocharged units without complex hybrid systems, which helps with long-term ownership. The downside is that it's not an off-road monster. You won't take it rock crawling, but for families driving thousands of kilometers every year on rough roads, this car quietly earns its unbreakable reputation. Car 5, Geely Manjaro. Geely Manjaro launched as a premium car, but what makes it tough is the platform underneath. 
The Manjaro is built on Volvo's CMA architecture, which is engineered for safety, rigidity, and longevity. This means the chassis is designed to handle stress without flexing over time. It comes with a 2.0-liter turbo engine paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and this powertrain has already proven itself globally. The cooling systems are overbuilt, which is one of the biggest reasons engines fail in hot climates. Geely knew this, so they designed it with extra thermal margins. However, it's not meant for hardcore off-roading. Its strength is in long-distance reliability, highway stability, and structural safety. If you want something that feels solid after 200,000 kilometers, this is where the Manjaro shines. Car 6 Haval H9 Haval H9 is one of the most underrated tough cars ever made by a Chinese brand. The Haval H9 uses a traditional body-on-frame design, low range gearing, and locking differentials. This car was tested extensively in deserts, snow, and mountains before mass production. It offers both petrol and diesel engines, but the diesel version is particularly famous for longevity. The engine is tuned for torque rather than speed, which reduces internal stress. And because it doesn't rely heavily on advanced electronics for off-road driving, fewer things can go wrong over time. The downside is size and weight. It's big, heavy, and not very fuel efficient, but durability often comes at the cost of efficiency. This is the type of car you buy once and keep for a decade. Car 7, Tank 500. Tank 500 came as the more refined big brother of the Tank 300. It still uses body-on-frame construction, but now with better insulation, stronger suspension components, and improved reliability testing. The Tank 500 blends luxury and toughness in a way Chinese cars didn't before. It offers a V6 hybrid option, but even then, the system is designed conservatively. Electric assistance reduces engine strain rather than pushing performance limits. That actually increases engine life instead of reducing it. Yes, it's expensive, yes, it's heavy, but it's built to survive long-term ownership, not just impress during test drives. Car 8, Jetour T2. Jetour T2 is one of the newest entries in the Chinese SUV market, and it stands out because it focuses on adventure durability rather than hardcore, military-grade toughness. This car is designed for people who love to travel far, explore rough roads, and take their vehicle on extended trips without constantly worrying about wear and tear. The Jetour T2 achieves this through a combination of reinforced suspension, high ground clearance, and a simplified drivetrain that avoids unnecessary complexity. Unlike some modern vehicles that rely heavily on delicate electronics or fancy components, this car keeps things simple, which ironically makes it much more reliable over the long term. It's not meant to win drag races, boast luxurious interiors, or impress anyone with flashy features. Instead, it is built to survive repeated impacts from uneven surfaces, potholes, and long hours of continuous driving. Overlanders, adventure enthusiasts, and long-distance travelers have quickly noticed this car because it keeps going where other vehicles might start rattling or developing structural fatigue. Even after hundreds of kilometers on bad roads, the Jetour T2 maintains its composure, which is a rare trade for a vehicle at this price and class. Of course, this focus on durability comes with trade-offs. Road noise is noticeable inside the cabin, and the interior materials aren't what you'd call premium. But that's part of what makes the car resilient. Fewer delicate parts mean fewer things that can fail over time. The design is intentional. Instead of overcomplicating systems with extra gadgets or luxury frills, Jetour focused on core reliability and structural integrity. Unbreakable doesn't always mean indestructible. Sometimes it's about smart engineering, redundancy where it matters, and knowing which systems to simplify. The Jetour T2 embodies this philosophy perfectly. Chinese cars have come a long way in recent years, and durability is no longer a question. The real question is what kind of toughness a driver truly needs. For most people, daily reliability and long-term resilience matter far more than extreme off-road capability, and in that regard, the Jetour T2 already proves itself. It can take more punishment than most owners will ever give it, making it an ideal choice for those who prioritize peace of mind, adventure readiness, and consistent performance over flashy features. If you enjoyed this breakdown, there are more deep dives like this coming, so keep an eye out for the next one.